Hey guys, uh, welcome to my quick review. I am uh, known as Bosniak at Overclock.net. I'm going to do a quick review of the base uh, baseline GTX 680 by Gigabyte. It's a reference card. Uh, I'm actually selling this card. I'm saving a hundred bucks and uh, selling it and getting a uh, GTX 680. I mean, I'm sorry, 670 uh, also by Gigabyte, except uh, the one is going to be a slightly overclock overclocked version uh, with the wind force um, uh, cooling uh, system so basically this is my system right here I'm gonna spare you guys uh, a lot of details but it's basically running on a um, uh, Intel i5 um, 2500k uh, running at 4.4 gigahertz um, and everything else is pretty much uh, the standard stuff uh, no, no, no SSD it's just a one terabit hard drive, uh, 8 gigs, uh, G-Skill, um, dual channel uh, RAM, uh, Windows uh, 7 uh, 64-bit uh, home premium and I'm just gonna kinda show you what I'm running right now this is the, the GPU, the CPU Z I don't know like I can't see it here, I don't know if you can see it on the screen I'm gonna try to zoom in okay it's obviously not working but it should say for 4390 uh, megahertz and the GPU Z is running at a 1006 which is the stock uh, here we go maybe you can see that and the uh, 1059 megahertz boost and it says that right here and uh, 1006 I'm sorry for the crappy camera it's actually not crappy, it's actually a droid or a razor, but apparently it doesn't have a good video uh, recording capabilities. So I'm just going to go ahead and run the uh, the 3D Mark 11, um, just the basic presets. Um, I'm going to go to basic, yeah, benchmark only, and um, I'm going to run Mark 3D 11. And what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to run it, and then I'm going to stop to show you guys the results. So, so I can save some uh, battery. Okay. Um, I am going to show you how it is running. It's running pretty well. I'm actually pretty happy with the with the GTX 680. Um, I'm able to overclock it uh, up to uh, 1340 uh, in boost. Uh, I forgot uh, what the base uh, core speed is, but it's uh, it's pretty hot. It's uh, over a little bit over 1200. And um, yeah, I mean, I mean, I've been pretty happy with it. You know, it's just that. Um, you know the I paid like five hundred and nine dollars for the card, and uh, so I'm actually selling it today on eBay. Uh, here you can see the frame rate here. Um, so I'm selling it on eBay uh, for about a little bit higher than the amount that I paid for. And uh, actually, my GTX uh, 670 came in today, and I'm going to be installing it as soon as I finish this test, so I can show you exactly stock for stock. Um, uh, how, uh, how both cards compare to each other. Now granted the, the GTX 680 is a reference card it, it does come with a, uh, with a with a reference cooler so it just has a single fan uh, that uh, exits uh, the uh, the heat to the back of the PC case so uh, it's a little bit of uh, an advantage to the to the 670 uh, OC uh, wind force because it does have three fans on top and even though it um, emits the heat inside the case. If you have a pretty uh, decent case that um, has some pretty good ventilation, it should yield higher, um, I mean, uh, lower uh, temps uh, under loads and under um, idle. So, but I mean, I'm, I'm, I've been pretty happy with the GTX 680. Like I said, the only thing that attracted me to the 670 is the price difference and such a um, uh, near, near performance of the 680. Uh, hopefully that is true today because I am going to be um, testing it so hopefully I didn't buy a dud and um, it overclocks decent like I said the 680 overclocks phenomenally um, so we'll see I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to go ahead and pause this so that way I can record a 670 I don't know how long this is. Maybe I should record the whole thing. Um, 
Yeah, I guess so. So I'll go ahead and record the whole thing. I just have to hold this. Now I do have the fans running um, at uh, 80% right now. That's not completely necessary. You see my little case inside? It's not really necessary. My, my, my GPU temperatures um, actually stay pretty good, um, 72 or so. Um, but um, for testing purposes, I do want it to stay as cool as possible. Um, just so I uh, just so I have to get consistent results. Uh, from what I've read, the uh, the GTX 670 Wind Force uh, does uh, spin um, uh, pretty good. I mean, moves air pretty good, uh, and you don't have to crank up the fan speed all the way up to uh, like 80 or 90 percent. Um, so that's pretty good. Uh, I mean, my my my, my computer is not quiet by any means uh, I really uh, unless like unless it sounds like a turbine I really don't care how how loud it is as long as it's like not annoying loud um, at 80% the GTX, GTX 680 uh, does uh, have that loud whoosh um, sound all right I guess this was it I guess that was it so let's go ahead and uh, look at the results I guess this didn't take long I'll uh, definitely pause it when I do the other test because I have to uninstall it. Alright, so the stock baseline is scored at 92, uh, 34. Uh, that's just the, the whole system, so I, th that's kind of irrelevant because uh, what you need to look out for is the um, the graphics score. I don't know why it's so damn blurry, okay? But it should say right there um, 680. Alright, let's see. Alright, um, here, this is the 3D Mark score. Graphic score is scored at 99.03, right here. And I really don't know if you guys can see that. I'm going to try to just kind of zoom in and zoom out. Um, hopefully you can see it. If not, I'm really sorry. Um, but, um, uh, maybe if I back up a little bit and then zoom in. So it's it says 9903. Sorry if it doesn't if you guys can't read it, but I can assure you it's uh, 9903. And um, and the frame rate has been pretty good. Um, starting from the top, it's 46, 46, 60, 30, 24, 35. Um, so it read a pretty good. That's pretty good. Pretty good test actually uh, for a uh, for a baseline from from what I heard 9903 in the graphics department so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, exit out of this uh, and um, I wanna see how the uh, the GTS, GTX 670 scores so I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of this and um, exit out of this, exit out of this and this so I will be back with you guys if you guys wanna see the MSI afterburner um, there it is um, the boost Okay, at 80% uh, fan speed, this is really annoying, okay, but anyways, at 80% fan speed, the maximum temperature that was reached was 61 degrees, and uh, the maximum um, power limit was actually 110, so it went a little bit over um, over the limit. Um, the, uh, the maximum boost core clock went up to 1150 so it's definitely higher than uh than when uh what it's um when it says on the box i think it believes i believe it says 1058 or 1059 boost but it's actually 1150 and um memory clock was 3005 here 2005 all right so i'm gonna go ahead and uh, exit out of this and uh we'll post the uh, the other video as soon as i install this thanks for watching